Well, hello everybody. Haven't made a video in a while, but I got this um, vehicle tracking uh, device. Uh, you know, so donate for a teardown. So um, I'm gonna pull this apart, and then I'm gonna try to hook it up, and I'm gonna see if this thing doesn't uh, squirt out any any data. Um, uh, what I found about these is that they're used. Uh, obviously, this is for fleet tracking. Um, you want to know where your vehicles are. Um, you know, you want to know uh, where they are, how fast they're going. Uh, you know, the status, things like that. Um, and it's uh, got a uh, serial uh, uh, interface on it, and uh, you know, some other uh, I/O to do various things. Um, you know kill the vehicle you could probably remotely kill it the vehicle things like that so um you know we've got a uh, uh tnc uh antenna and a uh sma for the gps uh tnc's for the uh for the modem uh the cellular connection uh or satellite i have a feeling it's a cellular but uh, there's some uh, information about there's a particular variant of this is probably satellite um, we got a SIM in the front and some uh, LED status indicators. The uh, back and the front panel of the uh, aluminum case are just uh, PCBs that have been, uh, you know, silk screen, gold silk screen, and stuff like that. Um, uh, it's a pretty, uh, you know, cheap and uh, and quick way to get a front and back uh, panel made for a extruded box like this. Um, Mike from Mike's Electric Stuff has talked about that many times. Um, and it's uh, and it works well. Uh, Dave Jones's uh, microcurrent, I believe, is is basically the same thing. It's all on the circuit board, and then you just he just puts it inside of a box, and you know it's done. Um, you know, looks good, and it's uh, you know simple and uh, easy to turn it around. So uh, that's what they've done here. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I actually quite like it. The uh, the color scheme looks good. Gold uh, gold on black. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna take this apart, and then I'm gonna power it up. I am not going to put antennas on this thing because I do not want this thing squirting out uh, a location or connecting to the cellular network or to any network for that matter. I just want to see what this thing squirts out um, and if I can talk to it or not. If I can figure out the uh, the baud rate that it's communicating at, um, I'm going to I'm I'm going to guess uh, you know a fairly standard uh, 115 200 uh, you know 8n1 kind of uh, thing or 57 600. So, um, you know, I've, uh, I've got my uh, uh, scope and uh, serial decoder all set up to, uh, to see what it squirts out. So, inside we have a uh, Trimble GPS and a uh, Enfora enabler uh, GSM modem. It's probably GPRS based on the age. There's a SIM card and a SIM slot. SIM has no markings on it whatsoever. Um, I'm guessing this is that this is going to be GSM. Um, you know, it's probably uh, GPRS, and um, I'm not even entirely sure if GPRS is going to even work now or not. Uh, most of the GPRS systems have probably been shut down, so uh, it probably wouldn't connect anyway. But I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to power it up, see if uh, see what what uh, what I get out of the serial port. Um, gonna guess and say this is probably AT command set um, I played with one similar to this and it was just AT command set um, you know that it, and it all it is is it just makes a network connection um, you tell it the server that you want it to connect to and uh, you know IP address of the server and it just connects to that server at whatever port you specify it squirts data in it's quite literally all that they do uh, most of them from what I from what I have been able to uh, discern so um, what I want to do for, you know, for giggles when I uh, play around with this thing, I have to do another video on all that, is actually set up a server somewhere, open up a port, program this thing, if I can talk to it, and have it squirt its uh, data into, um, uh, into a server of my choosing. So, um, that said, let's, uh, let's power it up. So I gotta get a bunch of leads, and I got a breadboard over here. So that we can, uh, you know, just do a quick and dirty hookup of this. Um, so we need uh, power in. We need the uh, the ground, and uh, I'm just gonna put one in here for the uh, serial out. 
because that's all I'm really interested in. I'm not going to try to talk to it yet. I just want to see if this thing squirts out anything. Um, and if I can see what it's squirting out. So we'll just, uh, you know, give this a give this a go and, uh, you know, put this, I already got my power supply all set up. I'm going to stuff about 10 volts into it. Um, and uh, we're going to see what happens. So before I do that, And uh, what else do we got? So I'm just going to put a probe there. And then I'm going to uh, try to single shot capture whatever it squirts out. And uh, I'm going to put the camera on the scope. If I can, it's going to be on an angle. Sorry about that. So we can see what it does on the screen. So if I've got this done right, which I'm, I suspect that it's probably going to be one or the other, we'll find out. I'm going to try 115, 200 uh, K baud first, and um, I'm going to uh, single shot capture, I'll power it up, and then I'll touch that there, and we'll see if we get anything on this. There we go. <laughs> Fancy that. First go at it. AT command interpreter ready. Line feed fancy that so there you have it uh, I should be able to talk to this and it is 115 200 K baud um, so I'll get a, uh, a proper uh, uh, terminal uh, set up and uh, you know I'll get a proper proper serial and face and all that good stuff set up and then we'll uh, we'll fool around with this thing so there you have it um, not powered up uh, or not no antennas obviously um, don't need to have that kind of headache but um, that said um, I'll make another video where I can actually try to talk to it but uh, for now um, just uh, you know seems fairly straightforward uh, fairly straightforward serial interface nothing uh, nothing uh, too surprising happening there so uh, anyways um, if I try uh, to get some time later in the week maybe I'll um, I'll fool around with it and uh, you know get a terminal and uh, you know do a um, uh, you know do a real a real test at a real computer and, uh, and video that uh, anyways till next time guys uh, take care of yourselves catch you later